Hi, business analyst is one of the most sought after profiles in today's IT industry. In order to become a business analyst, there are certain skills which are required. In this video, I am going to talk about those skills. My name is Abhishek Srivastava. I have 28 years of IT industry experience in the roles of business analysis, project and program management. I am an author, guest speaker and a blogger and I am also a CBAP certified professional. Okay, so let's get started by first looking at who is a business analyst we are talking about and then I will talk about the skills needed to become a business analyst. So who is a business analyst? The business analyst we are talking about here is the professional who works as an intermediary between the business and the technology team to understand what is needed to be addressing the problem which the organization is facing and then getting that solution developed, validated and then deliver it to the business. Now in this role, the business analyst interacts with business as well as the technology team so that the right solution can be delivered to the business. That's the key to the role of a business analyst. As more and more companies are getting IT enabled, the requirement for a business analyst is expected to grow many fold. So if you are coming from an IT background or a non IT background, you can become a business analyst. The key to become a business analyst is to understand what is required or which are the skills which are very important to become a business analyst. Let's have a look at that. We have developed a craft framework which encapsulates all the key skills required to become a business analyst. Let's start with the soft skills. So as a business analyst, you're going to communicate with multiple stakeholders. You're required to have good interaction, behavioral and communication skills. Please note, I'm not talking about the language alone. I'm not talking about having the ability to speak English fluently. What I'm talking about is the ability to be effective in communication. Why do you need to be effective? Because you are going to communicate the requirements, you are going to work with the stakeholders. So you need to know how to interact with different types of stakeholders. You need to also be interacting with the stakeholders to facilitate the testing and also negotiate on the basis of the priority, priority of the requirements, the timelines and even the costs. The next set is the code BA skills. That is something which you need to be equipped with to be able to handle your day-to-day -day activities. Now, these things include understanding how to gather the requirements, how to document the requirements and how to create different kinds of diagrams. For example, the use case diagrams, the process diagrams and so and so forth. These are the skills which are also known as the technical skills for a business analyst. Please note, I am not using technical skills here for programming. You don't need to learn anything in programming. The third skill, which is an optional skill, but can be an add-on or can be an added advantage to you, is if you have the domain knowledge. When I say domain knowledge, I am talking about the understanding of the business processes, the key terms of a particular industry. So if you happen to come from a banking industry or, a, or an insurance industry or investment banking, you definitely have an advantage because those skills are very important for a business analyst. If you don't come with those skills, you don't need to worry because there are a lot of business analyst positions where you will have openings which does not require domain knowledge. You can watch one of the videos which I have uploaded some time back on how to search for a business analyst job at the entry level positions. Finally, the functional testing. Remember, before you hand over the developed software to the stakeholders, you need to ensure that that software addresses the problem which you are trying to solve and also meets the expectations of the stakeholders. If it doesn't, then the entire testing effort with the customer will be wastage of time and will involve a lot of rework. So it's better to be testing it yourself at least once 
at a very high level. You don't need to be testing each and every screen as a business analyst, but you need to be aware of how to conduct process level testing end to end so that you can say that this process is working. For example, if a bank is developing an application for new accounts to be open, you should be at least testing the part where by completing all the steps, an account should get open. That is something which the customer is also going to be interested in. So these are the four key skills for you to consider when you are trying to become a business analyst. One of the things which I always suggest to everyone is that whatever role you are currently performing, whether you are coming from a non-IT background or an IT background, try and map it to these skills and then see where are the gaps because you have to fill those gaps. That should be your strategy to prepare to become a business analyst. I hope this video will be helpful for you to understand the required skill to become a business analyst. See you in the next video.